Hey guys, it's Ken. I am in Montego Bay, Jamaica, and we're going to be doing a full walkthrough of this hotel. This is the Royal Decameron Cornwall Beach. They have a sister one next door, and that one's called the Royal Decameron uh, Montego Bay. So this is the uh, entrance. Main Street's here. Shops are across there. Um, there's a place over here that has one of the best Jamaican patties around, and you can get all sorts of other things. This is the main gate when you leave. When you leave, you have to tell her your room number, uh, but it's got some good security. Uh, and this is the front entrance in which you will uh, be brought to the hotel. Over to our right. And this is gonna be unedited. Just people like my unedited walkthroughs. It gives them a real good idea of the layout of the hotel. Uh, this is where all the taxi guys will hang out uh, waiting for a job. Uh, we suggest a gentleman by the name of Zip, and you can ask the front entrance uh, where Zip is, and they will give you his number. He was awesome to my wife and I, uh, took us to spots between here and Duns River Falls, which is a, a must-do here in Jamaica. Uh, but he would stop at certain spots along the way and uh, do things that we wouldn't have done if we like, rented a car or took another taxi. Uh, but he was more of a, a tour guide than just a taxi. So here is our front entrance. These people are going to the Juca or Chuka uh, Eco Adventure thing. So this is the front lobby. We have a store over here. I don't know exactly what time it opens. Uh, that is wrong, whatever that's supposed to be. It's just saying closed. Yeah, they got like chips and poppins and t shirts and things in here. They have beer, but I can't see anybody buying beer when you get it for free uh, from any of the bars. Off to the right here is the Air Transat. Uh, we met our uh, Air Canada rep here, and they told us all about what we needed to do. This is the front lobby area. This is where you'll be checking in. Very nice. Nice breezeway. The front entrance is fully open, but here they uh, have glass, and they I guess they close that possibly during a storm or rainy season, but it's a straight walk out to the beach and pool. There's a nice sitting area area here. Upstairs is a coffee bar and they open at eight o'clock and they do amazing uh, lattes and cappuccinos. Uh, maybe we should just take you up quickly. But again, lots of sitting areas for people. Of course, Bob Marley is everywhere. They do have elevators, it's five stories and uh they have 144 rooms and i'm not sure how many in the sister hotel next door but it's a smaller resort and apparently now you can stay at either resorts and eat at either the resorts um, buffets or restaurants so this is the coffee lounge which is getting already or he's getting already it's been a lady the last few days that's why i thought it was going to be warm up here Again, more seating areas inside, more seating areas outside. And if you, there are two a la carte, so I'll show you them later. But if you want an a la carte, you've got to phone down to the uh, lobby and tell them you want a, room, um, a table at 6.30. Uh, we went to one of them at 8.30 and they ran out of the beef tenderloin, which is uh, definitely on the top of the list of things to eat at uh, the a la carte for this restaurant. So there's a nice little view shot of the 144 rooms. It's a nice curved hotel. The sun sets just over that way. So and our room was about there maybe. We're on the second floor, which is good because I can just walk straight to get my morning coffee. Uh, but from our room, which is probably dead center in the middle of the hotel. As you can see, the hotel goes all the way over to there. But uh, from that, we could see the sunset. If you definitely want to see sunset every single night, get one of the rooms with the balcony and uh, you'll definitely be able to see that sunset, possibly be able to see the sunrise, which comes up behind us every morning. They have beautiful grounds. They take care of it really well. They're often sweeping. This tree is a messy messy tree so they're often sweeping all the debris that comes off that tree but this is a nice seating area and i'm glad we weren't in a room looking over this roof 
Uh, overlooking the pool is a much better room if you can get it, in my opinion, my humble opinion. But again, this is all the different morning drinks they have. She'll make anything and everything for you, even, even the iced coffees. And if you uh, forgot a book, they've got books. So the Cafe Bar, check it out. Let's quickly zip downstairs. So again, they have stairs all the way up, or you can take the elevator, of course, when you have all your luggage and stuff, and you want to be lugging that or doing. So back down to the lobby, off to our right. We usually have some entertainment during dinner time, uh, late afternoon leading up to dinner, and then they move over to the theater in the other hotel. And after everybody conjugates, Here's the lobby bar. They have all the drinks that they like to make on certain days, but you can order them anytime you want. Morning. Morning. So you've tried most of them. And uh, the Cornwall gin was one of my favorites. It was like coconut ramen and, and a blue paraco, curacao. She makes coffee too, but I haven't seen anybody actually get a coffee from here. So this is the morning buffet. I did a whole video on my other channel, uh, All You Can Eat Buffet uh, in Jamaica, breakfast buffet, and I did a lunch one as well. But you have a serving station here, serving station there, omelets and stuff. Over there is all the cereals, lots of seating. I think she said they do over 200 guests. She didn't give me an exact number, but she said today they actually have over 200. Um, so over there is uh, even more stuff set up uh, at dinner and lunch. That's mostly over there is the dessert stuff. Let's move on. They have lots of great seating in this area for lounging. Uh, you get your drink in the afternoon. And uh, my wife and I usually sat out here. Our favorite uh, waiter was uh, named Kevin. So if you ever come here, Ask for Kevin and tell him Ken sent you. <laughs> but every, all the staff have been amazing. Zero complaints about the staff. I love that tree. It's cool. And of course, that just screams vacation. So it is now almost 8 o'clock. And there's uh, probably no seats left. So people come down uh, between 6.30 and 7.00. Uh, I've been down here before seven and all the front row were taken up already. I know that's frowned upon in a lot of places to reserve your chair, but when it's, when the resort doesn't care and nobody cares, so you just got to play the game and, uh, put your towel on it, go have breakfast, go back up to the room, brush your teeth, put on your sunscreen, come down and, uh, lounge in your chair. But, uh, it, yeah, it doesn't look like you can get any chairs by eight o'clock. So there's a lesson for you. Let's walk back out this way. Lots of fans to keep you cool. I think my favorite, they've had um, a woman playing uh, saxophone. Last night they had two gentlemen, one person on a banjo and a, and a guitar. And uh, so that was kind of fun. Uh, when I did my arrival video to here, uh, we did a, like a little walkthrough of the room. The rooms were pretty nice, um, somewhat updated. Here's the pool deck. When we got here, the you couldn't see the bottom of the pool, so they've corrected that now. They've um, done some maintenance to it, so it looks like they have a caution. So they're, they're either shocking the pool or whatever, but with the day we got here, uh, it looked a little cloudy. So, but they've now fixed it and you can actually see the bottom of the pool. Uh, here's some swimming rules, but it's a really nice deck. And there's no swim up bar here. Um, there's like a little kiddie pool there. That is another bar. I guess we'll call that the pool bar. And I guess there's only two bars. Uh, here's the entertainment. So this is where you'll find out what is going on from 
minute to minute all day long and then they'll also tell you what show is going to be at night time uh last night was the steel drums highly re recommend not missing the steel drum uh show because that was one of my favorites uh here's uh some other information like bingo and happy hours and all that stuff every every hour is a happy hour here in jamaica though this is the smoking area for all those smokers uh you do smell pot pretty much every day <laughs> i would say at least six times a day you'll get a nice wafting of marijuana um the ganja and when you go outside of the hotel almost everyone will try to sell you marijuana it's, it's crazy so if you're not into that kind of thing then uh maybe montego bay isn't the place for you but uh, we love it it's better than cigarettes smoke do you agree or disagree with that so beautiful sandy beach uh the hotel next door doesn't have a beach like this so most of them come over here to enjoy this beach uh, another situation is people were saying you need water shoes because they're sea urchins, but not on the beach. So you don't need uh, footwear to be on the beach, go in the water, just don't walk on, and you shouldn't walk on coral anyway, but all the best snorkeling is off to the right. Uh, there's like a concrete wall that I guess used to be a jetty, used to go further and it's all crumbled down and it's an, made a nice reef. So I get to see lots of fish. My wife saw a stingray yesterday, so that was kind of cool. I missed the stingray. So this is the pool bar. This uh, place also has the bingo. Lots of games happen here, dancing. Um, this place is happening. Really enjoyed uh, coming up from the beach to uh, get my drinks. And it's nice and close. You don't have to walk too far. You also have boats that you can just sign out doesn't cost any extra money i don't believe we were supposed to go for a kayak ride but we never did uh, it's best to go in the morning because it gets rough almost every day and windy and it's the wind seems to be coming this way so if you try to go we saw people paddling and not really going anywhere and then they just come back so i'm not sure if you can do the sailboat but they definitely have um kayaks and things like that so there are two shower stations there's one here and one right here i think i'm pointing to it uh so you can wash off the salt water and sand but again sitting at this bar getting your favorite drink and looking out to that beautiful ocean is just amazing uh that's also the towel this round facility here is the towel area so you exchange your towels if they get dirty um, I think you can do it once a day if you really want to. We just kept them for about two or three days and then exchanged them. We were only here for seven days. Uh, also the washrooms, there's two washrooms here, men and women. Uh, there are washrooms just inside the lobby, closer to the buffet. And then there's washrooms, I believe, in that building. So that's the a la carte. We'll take you over there. Uh, we have met uh, a couple people with mobility problems and they like this hotel because they have ramps everywhere. Um, there are some places, you know, people with mobility issues uh, would possibly have a lot of problems like the Duns River Falls. There's no way they could walk up the Duns, Dun River Falls and uh, the Bob Marley. Uh, we met people there that were uh, laughing but complaining about all the stairs. Uh, there's no ramps or nothing and uh, there are steep stairs in a lot of them at the Bob Marley house up in the hills but again beautiful hotel I would definitely stay here again but uh, if we come back to Jamaica we'll probably want to try out some of the other cities like Negril Good morning We always have lifeguards on duty between certain times. This is a raised platform where one of the days that we were here that I know of, uh, they had a bar set up with a DJ and then they had everybody dancing out in front. Uh, and that was definitely a lot of fun as well. They're always raking and making sure everything's clean for us. Almost every day, well, this is the 
buffet again. Almost every day they have somebody set up here selling all the stuff that the people sell outside of the resort. Uh, souvenirs and t-shirts and stuff like that. And they have to set it up every day. That's why they didn't have like a little spot. I forgot to show you this. So this was a tree that somebody carved into a beautiful peacock, or sorry, a parrot peacock. I saw the long tail and thought it was... Anyway, so old tree carved out, very creative, very clever. Again, there's a big Bob Marley, and he is everywhere on this island. It's, it's funny they, you know, a tree will die, like all these trees are dead that I can see, but they still use them to hang lanterns and things on. So here's kind of like, that's the big beach over there. Here's a medium sized beach. And then as we go this way towards the other hotel, um, and I don't know much about the other hotel, but I'll tell you what I can. Um, it just gets rockier and rockier. There is like a little bit of a beach. So this is the beach. Um, I'm not sure what they call it, but you can get during the daytime, like at noon, you can come over here and get your red stripe and hang out here if you don't want to go to the buffet and they have hot dogs and hamburgers and pizza and stuff like that. And you can just order it and they'll bring it to your table. It's not set up like a buffet. Uh, I think they have some things that you can just kind of grab, but then you can just sit here and enjoy the beautiful view of Montego Bay. My wife and I sat here twice for the a la carte and uh, I had the first night that we were here, I had the, um, I think it was the shrimp and scallop dinner. And then my wife had the beef tenderloin and then we came back again and we both had the beef tenderloin because it was that good. It was really, really good. And they, they cooked to order. So I had my medium rare, Carol had hers. Well done. So this is all coral reef all the way up to this point. You can actually see it right up to here and that goes right to this wall so right along there is where most of the fish are and then you can find lots of other interesting things along here see as we get start to go this way the beach gets smaller and smaller so huge beach over here kind of a medium-sized beach here but you can only go in a little bit again you don't want to get near the, the coral you'll get cut up but this is definitely a, a great a la carte to to give it a shot and I'll kind of dip into this area just to give you an idea. There's all the cooking facilities. They have drinks. They usually have. So for the first three days, they didn't have red stripe as a draft. So you could get it. You know, these flies. You could get it um, in a can, which is good. So if they don't have red stripe on top, they make sure they have lots of cans on hand, which I kind of liked. Because if you ask for two, they'll just give you two cans and then you don't have to open them. Uh, and you just kind of walk back to, your, back to your chair on the beach. And then you can open the other one when you want to open it. So nice long pier. Take pictures on. This is the volleyball area. Uh, I don't think you noticed. I didn't, I didn't point it out. Just behind here is a badminton court. So I guess you'd have to maybe go to the lobby and... and sign up the badminton rackets um over here here are the other two washrooms so again if you're eating here or you're sitting at this little beach you can just zip over here and there's two washrooms here it's always good to point out where the washrooms are so the whole time we were here the spa wasn't in um, full operation i'm not sure exactly why i think it's still trying to recover from the last two years over here is just a small kidney pool so people lounge up here and over here is the swamp bar if you're into that kind of thing so if you had that room you just walk out plunk into the pool swim across grab yourself a beer and uh if you needed to go to your washroom you just go right back to your hotel room so that would be a good spot but all these buildings might be in your way at the sunset um, so you can get, you can access this bar from the other side or pool side. Let me know in the comments below if you are enjoying.
this walkthrough. If you want me to continue continue doing these, I've done this a bunch of times at different hotels, and uh, people seem to like it because it gives them a really good idea of what to expect when they're there. So I think that's a much older hotel, and I probably was here first, and then they built the Cornwall, and then um, Royal the Cameron. I guess made sure they purchased both of them and then joined them. Strength in numbers, I guess. Here's another shower. Again, beach, but then it's rock. So let's walk across. Or I guess concrete blocks. So I'm not sure. I haven't swam here, but it looks like you can you can dive in at your own risk. But again, no real kind of beach to speak of at the Montego Bay, but you can just walk over a couple hundred meters and away you go. Beautiful calm in the morning, pretty much every day we've been here. And then over the course of the day, it just starts getting more and more windy. I'm so glad that they, a lot of these resorts have these uh, palm tree umbrellas because they, you just can't sit in the sun. I got burnt yesterday. I'm still recovering. I tried my best to keep the sunscreen on. Uh, we, I got, I think, one mosquito bite. So there have been people that say, oh yeah, make sure you don't forget your mosquito. Obviously, some people are more prone to mosquitoes than others. Some people seem to get bit more than others. I only got one. And I saw a couple. Carol killed one in our bedroom. So here's another pier you can hang out at. These light up at nighttime. Again, just a tiny strip of beach. Uh, we never ate uh, at this spot. This is their Montego Bay side. And this is their um, buffet. So everybody from this hotel is enjoying their buffet and then over here is their beach bar i guess theater bar and this is the theater this is where you'll see all your shows they have some lounging areas here and then all set up for theater of course bob marley painted on the wall we were here last night and they had the steel band And there is obvious. Oh, this is where the spa was. So, Carol and I did uh, come to this restaurant once, and uh, we had their jerk chicken, and it was pretty good. I think Carol had the jerk chicken. I can't remember what I had. I'm going to have to look through my footage to remember what I ate here. But I think this is where the hotel ends at that wall. Um, I'm guessing this is another, no, it's, it's just a royal skin. Well, that's the workout area. So if you're into working out and fitness, this is really nice, kind of like Spanish looking. I don't know all their wares for purchase. Uh, yeah, that's the workout room. Probably, <laughs> probably air conditioned for sure. And there's a huge tree right there. Bob Marley's everywhere. So it says the Cameron rooms. 1 to 21 so this is the, the extension of the hotel to that tree i would imagine the big tree oh they have a chess board down here it's always fun to play big oversized chess uh, and i'm not sure if that gazebo on the water is part of the decameron or not There you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. I try to keep it as short as I can, but if it's a big hotel, it takes a little bit longer to walk around. So that was about 25 minutes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Let us know if I missed anything, if you've been here before and you missed anything. Um, we, Like I said, we did hire Zip and he took us to the Bob Marley thing. We also did the 
uh, Duns River Falls. Those are definitely two things you must do when you come to uh, Montego Bay or Ocho Rio, which is on the North Shore. Uh, you can do both of those from that spot too. You can do it from pretty much anywhere on the island, but it costs money to get there. The, the taxi drivers are not cheap. I think it costs us 250 American dollars for the day, and he just sticks with you the whole day. So he drove us all the way out to Duns River Falls, uh, waited for us to do that, then took us to go see Bob Marley and stopped along the way and treated us to um, potato pudding, which I never knew existed until uh, Zip taught us about it. And uh, it's just one of those things that Jamaicans love. It's very sweet and, and tastes great. But uh, yeah, hire Zip and he'll take you around. Uh, but uh, ask pricing with everybody. They're very, very pushy because this is what they do for a living and they need, they need to make money. So uh, you can always say, no, thank you. Um, always say hi. Always say no, thank you. Have a nice day, and they're like respect, and they move on. Uh, some of them are a little more pushy than others. Just give you a heads up. All right, so thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and uh, subscribe to this channel. Uh, I'm going to still continue using this channel for things like my full walkthroughs and other little adventures we go on.